Hey everybody, welcome back uh, to We Play a Game. Uh, we're back here in Teardown. Uh, Alex did us the disservice of uh, <laughs> buying and playing the game uh, without us and, and completely finishing it and perfecting all the levels. Uh, so it's now up to me to play through the rest of the game on, like, on camera. Uh, like the murder of Calvin Candy, I couldn't resist. <laughs> oh, uh, it's so good I'm to Sean. be back. And I'm Alex. Hello, everybody. It's good to have you back here with us again. Yeah, I do. I really want to see where this game goes. So, uh, Ooh, I'm, I'm the mom. That we're coming back to it. Yeah. I have mom energy. <laughs> People of Japan, lend me your energy. You know that would be men energy. That would be men energy. Mom, momergy. Anyway, mm -hmm. I saw you made a deposit. You got a new client. Must be paying really well. Anyway, I was thinking about the van. Maybe we should get you a new one. I could actually use your old rust bucket for my groceries. Saw this at the dealer. What do you think? Hugs. Ma'am. It's hideous, Mom. Yeah, I love it. I'm sure she already bought it. <laughs> Long time no see, pal. After the leak case was closed, I didn't really dig further into Blue Tide and, and Mr. Aman Amantides. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Forgetting how to say these things already. But just recently, we've gotten several toxicology reports indicating there is something in the energy drink that just sh clearly shouldn't be there. Our addictometer maxed out, and that thing is even <laughs> very sensitive. Just tried it on my morning coffee, no reaction. Can, uh, can you head over to Hollow Rock and get clean samples of these secret ingredients? It would help us identify exactly what it is he's mixing in and where he's getting it. By the way, I heard they closed a, a deal with RoboSex recently. Stay safe. I think I said <laughs> Robo sex. sex? Yeah. <laughs> they close the deal to Robo sex, so if you go on a little side mission, don't take too long. <laughs> okay. Well, I gotta. I gotta, right? You have to now, yeah. Plus, it's even called a secret ingredient. Part of being pansexual is also having sex with robots, I think. <sighs> really? It's one of the largest selling points I see on the forums online. <laughs> being pansexual. <laughs> one of the best parts that's what i've heard uh, okay uh so what do we gotta do here we gotta get what's this these are safes there's something inside the safes yeah it says looks like each sample is stored in a secure safe that can only be <clears throat> opened with explosives watch out for security robots you know how we deal with security robots oh i did a little bit of playing by uh myself actually and now I have nitroglycerin. Oh, I was gonna say we did not have that before. It's true. We did um, not. But nitroglycerin is for robots. Bang bang. Uh, yeah, of course. I like I... that the season in the game has changed now, and now we get like lovely snow particle effects. So realistic. Guns oh don't god. kill doors, I do. Oh my god, it's like a little claptrap bot. He's so cute. It makes me think of, uh... Oh! <laughs> wow, you survived. That's impressive. It doesn't look like he did. Oh. Stay down. Stay down. No. <laughs> Bad no. robot. <laughs> no. I've seen iRobot. I was warned about this. <laughs> oh, and the hunting rifle we did not have. Oh yeah, the hunting rifle's cool. Am I able to kill these things? I, don't, I feel like I'm not. Nice. Uh, yeah, I don't want to spoil it, but you cannot kill those robots, technically. Okay. You can be creative, though. Try to disable them. Um, okay, so there's one up in the house. Let's try to do that. Is um, if you bully them at their public school, they'll get expelled just like you will, even though they were just defending themselves. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be pretty satisfying, right? Oh, yeah. They're shooting them in the face of the rocket and they just ragdoll a bit. <laughs> Where'd he go? Let me at him! Let me at him! Ooh, his butt's on fire, I think. It's got a fire. Oh, you can't butt. see me. John Cena. <laughs> yeah. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> Meanwhile, the trumpets attract all the robots in the local area. I wanted to see if I could shoot it in the butt. 
and, and kill it. Shooting most things in the butt will uh, usually wound or kill them. Mm -hmm. So honestly, great strategy. Just like Forrest Gump. That's true. All, well, all he needed was a little ice cream and then he was back up and running. Lieutenant Sean, ice cream! <laughs> this robot smells like cigarettes. <laughs> uh, just do, well, be careful of the fire alarm. <clears throat> oh, there's fire. Before alarm. you get too far away from the burning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Room. You're making a lot of sense here. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Egads. <laughs> I don't live here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello, neighbor. Intensifies. <laughs> I'm a robot too. Beep boop. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right, so this was an experiment. I'm gonna grab the valuable. Ooh, it's sixty valerie dudes. Well, we got all the optional ones, so yeah, I'll just didn't get to the boat. <laughs> 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 all done. The perfect mission. All right, so the let's just do that again. Is pasta. Um. This is pretty good. The secret ingredient is Coke. Okay. Is there gonna be robots <laughs> everywhere? Jeez, man, you just slinging that Peter Gabriel around. Peter Gabriel? Yeah, <laughs> that sledgehammer. I don't get the reference. <laughs> oh, that's a song by Peter Gabriel. I promise oh. that's real. I'm not doing one of those bits where I tell you the wrong band. <laughs> it really is Peter Gabriel. Uh, I choose to believe you, even though you're yeah, probably. I want to say it came out in like the 80s. Oh, sure. Make up a time period for it to happen. <laughs> Fuck you! I have the power <laughs> of the internet! <laughs> ah, damn it. Uh, I got Sledgehammer. Stuck. Came out 1986. Um, oh, it has a pretty famous music video. It's like stop motion with Peter Gabriel, and he has like a uh, a model train track going around his head, like he's a mm -hmm. planet. It's kind of like an iconic music video you might have seen bits from before, but it's a pretty I don't good think song. You're making this all up. I swear I'm not making this up. Comments, tell the truth. Wink. The comments don't do anything that I tell them to do, so I don't know why I keep doing that, but maybe someday I'll have an army. Yeah, someday. <laughs> that will uh, <laughs> gonna back me no matter what, yeah. You're gonna weaponize people against me. Absolutely, but I swear this is real. I swear on my fucking life. Well, we're past a minute in, so you're allowed to swear. Yes! No Not bars and tone for this person. If I swear in the first minute, the robots win. It's true. They might win anyway, but they'll definitely win if you do that. Yeah, it is a matter of time, I suppose. Whenever we're comfortable with losing. Right. <laughs> we just lay down and accept our fate. <laughs> yeah, as gracefully as we can as, as humans. I'm gonna take this to a. Oh fuck! I wanted to take it to a different location. <laughs> yeah, well you are. So I could, just... so I could break yeah. it open uh, more safely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just dropped in. <laughs> where where are we dropping? Uh, is this still two towers? Well, the safe is still shut. Is that reference too dated? No. Oh. Oh yeah, nobody plays Fortnite anymore. Okay, good. Everybody plays one week. It's been Fortnite since I slept with you. Scooby-Doo. Making up new words. So uh, this, I don't think those are new words. The Scooby-Doo has never been said before. So this this <laughs> snow that's falling down is reminding me. Uh, the weather where we live has been pretty fucky lately. Um, I think it was like just last week, like maybe a couple days ago at this point. It'll obviously it'll be 
before that when this video comes out, but um, it's still winter currently. Uh, right. But we had like a day that was like 50 degrees and sunny. Then the next day was like a low of 13 and it was like hailing and sleeting. And then the next day was like 60 something and sunny. It was yeah. quite the whiplash. It's been kind of crazy. Um, I actually was out on the highway last night. Uh, oh, we yeah. had a nice last big snowstorm. Bad. I was uh, on my way to see a friend and I had to stop and turn around. The funny thing is, uh, I was 20 minutes away, according to the GPS, I was 20 minutes away from my friend's house, and I was 30 minutes away from home, so I took the longer path, <laughs> but I had to be up for work in the morning, so I didn't, I, I couldn't really stay the night. Ah, uh, gotcha, that's fair. Yeah, because I assume you didn't bring your uh, work laptop with you. No. Yeah, I'll never bring it with me anywhere except for home. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, if I get and, stranded, work is going to be the last thing on my mind. Yeah, and back to the office uh, when I finally turn it in. Uh, Hell yeah. Because I'm done with that shit. Hell yeah. Back to the office again. We messed up. Gave Sean too many <laughs> computers. We did. You know, it's kind of funny. They call it a forklift. I've literally never seen a lift a forklift before. Ha! Idiot. <laughs> like, talk about mislabeling. The expectations are fucked. Too true. Uh, when you, um, need to carry a bigger load, you get a five clift. <laughs> a five clift? <laughs> the five clift, yeah. Oh, four clift, okay. Took me a little bit right there. <laughs> I'm also having, I'm having like a staring contest right now with my cat who's sitting on my desk just across from my microphone. Mm -hmm. He's like cleaning himself and looking at me. Um, and I'm trying to be extra vigilant about my microphone because in the past he's like nuzzled it, you know how cats do, and he just accidentally <laughs> turn your it microphone off because it has like the touch setting, yeah. I remember and, that. and then I like don't notice until Sean's like, am I alone here? Did I lose him? I'm like, shit. <laughs> Well, you did a good job with the quick load. Yeah. I thought I should uh, lay down a save right quick. Hey, Sean, what's the opposite of progress? Congress? Congress! <laughs> Got him. The United States is a <laughs> hot mess. <laughs> You're not wrong. I have an idea. Um, ideas are dangerous, and because of that, I am here for it 100%. Oh, it didn't work! That no. was depressing. I loved that plan. That was that was such a good plan, I felt like. I really it wanted didn't to work see him all. sail off into the sunset. Even just okay. to get pinned for a couple minutes while I yeah. went in and Although I the think thing. the boosters only work for a maximum of like six or seven seconds. Well, how much time did I Not need, really? It. But why well, if we're talking minutes versus seven seconds, which is barely a tenth of a minute. What am I um, gonna do with the other three seconds? Exactly. Oh, did you try shooting him in the ass? That was a good opportunity right there. It was a good opportunity, I didn't have a gun ready. Uh Well, that's okay. There will be other chances. Probably. I have other guns. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Doors are for guns, bang bang. Keep an eye on the health bar. The door <clears throat> the door did not want to open. I gotta go back and put the fire out again, right? Uh oh yeah. Excuse me, sir. Get out of the way, idiot. I'm trying to do my job, I'm a fireman. Yeah. I'm Randy Quench. Volunteer fireman. <laughs> you remember that? I don't remember that. I think it was I thought from... you were just making that up. I think it's from All That, but I could be wrong. It was either All That or Amanda Show, but I think it was All That. Uh, and I didn't know it at the time, I guess they were just really making fun of volunteer firemen. <laughs> oh. Uh, 
Well, of course they were. Yeah. I hear I hear a lot of volunteer firemen being made fun of quite frequently because my wife's family uh, has several firefighters in it that uh, work for the city. <laughs> they're like, ha ha, we're terrible. Just look at us. Yeah. No, they're not volunteer. <laughs> oh. Like they're I they're see. not the volleys. They're they make fun of the volleys because they're they're the official firefighters, not the volleys. So. Oh, they call them volleys. Uh, That's yeah. Interesting. Yep. Um. But we actually do, here at my house, like, not two blocks away is a volunteer fire company. And my wife's family working for the fire department of the city next to ours puts my mind at ease that if my house is ever on fire, I know I'll get quick response times. Because <laughs> fuck everybody else. Yeah, well, they're not me. That's their problem. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't got what I got. Yeah. Yeah. Someone else who's like a doctor and saves people's lives? No, no, no. We gotta save Alex for his YouTube show. Yeah. <laughs> and specifically for that, not your uh, career that actually makes you money. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta save make we a game. I make imaginary money with we play the game. <laughs> Creative money. Yeah. Make happy money. Which is to say, no money, but <laughs> there's yeah, a little bit which, of joy in it. Yeah, there is. That's the important part, is the joy. You and the eventual door. money that we're guaranteed to get. That's right. As soon as we hit 400 million subscribers. So hit that subscribe button. Ooh, smash it. Or, you know, sometimes you don't have to do it hard. In fact, sometimes that's not right to do. You should just give it a, a nice, subtle caress. Um, with your with your left mouse button. Yeah, just just rub it a little bit. Rub your cursor over the subscribe button a little bit, it's and then sometimes um, it's very sensitive. Sometimes sometimes you, you click accidentally, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the subscribe button was just pressed, and it's very sensitive, and you have to take it slow. <laughs> don't don't hit Read it a the second room. time. Yeah. Yeah. Don't flick it. Don't flick it. That's no bueno. Usually, <laughs> talk talk to the subscribe button and see what it's comfortable with. Yes. Um, <laughs> is probably a good moral to take home. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyway. So anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> hey, <laughs> clutch! Great work. <laughs> Incredible. Wow, I, yeah, definitely could have done that better myself. That was awesome. You don't see me. Grab that blue goo. Gotta get up here and throw down that save. I almost hit quick load. That would have been catastrophic. My cat oh. has moved on from being on the other side of the microphone to being on my lap and vigorously licking my chin. That's what I would do. Really? Yeah. Oh. If All right, I was next there, episode of We Played a cat. Game. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> I was going to invite you over, but that's fine. Oh. Yeah, next time we play Thrillville. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <clears throat> Come on, I want to go for that long distance. How far can you splooge? What, what, how far can you splooge? Uh, you know, on a good day. It's not unheard of to go <laughs> five, six meters. Get out ye old yardstick. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact, Break. measuring tapes were originally invented um, in 1632 for measuring how far a man could ejaculate. Uh, yeah, that's true. Sometimes and, uh... you have to make a hole so that you can fight fires better. <laughs> yeah. Really it's not where I thought we were going, go. but I appreciate you getting us back on topic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm over here splooging over everything. And, uh... Hell yeah. Ah. Well, it's, ah. it is robo-sex that's, you know, I, I totally get why you feel that way. <laughs> Stop chasing me, you idiot. I'm doing this She's for the benefit like of your owners. Choking to death on 
<laughs> fumes in there at this point. Yeah, do they not have exhaust? I need to uh, toss some. Oh, yeah. How do they operate? All right. Has right, we'll OSHA been in this pool. lab? Ice water. What? Has OSHA been in this lab? Is this OSHA approved? Uh, I can only imagine that it's not. In one of my favorite episodes of, uh, <laughs> hi, <laughs> one of my favorite episodes of uh, Polygon back when Brian David Gilbert was on it yeah. um, was when he did, I think it was, yeah, I believe it was when he was still with Polygon, but he did a video of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate and he reviewed every single stage for OSHA compliance. Yeah. And the only stage that was actually OSHA compliant was Little Max Boxing Ring from Punch-Out!, yeah, <laughs> I, that was phenomenal because there's like almost 200 well maybe not 200 but well over 100 I think levels or like versions of levels that you can play most of the violations are for no guardrails which is pretty reasonable <laughs> oh what are you doing there spawn camper spawn camper noob lord <laughs> oh god I was going to say risky Walking by the nitroglycerin. Yeah, the, like, trigger I, I figured room, it. I figured it wasn't gonna shoot downward, so I thought it was a safe prospect. You know, it worked out pretty okay. Good. And then all our dreams came true, and everybody no clapped. <laughs> and everybody died, but they clapped first. Oh, I wish I could just drop it. Oh, and have it stick to the top of them. Yeah, and just press like Q and it's just like BING! No! Oh, leave me alone! <laughs> I don't live here! <laughs> ah! Running in the ice is cool. It is cool, and it gives me an idea. Yes! <laughs> you are Figured wise, Daniel Son. Daniel Son. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I originally well, I got, fun that. fact, I originally got the <laughs> idea to uh, to do that myself after thinking about us playing um, Eternal Cylinder and dunking the little um, observer robots in the water, you know what I'm talking about? The uh, ones yeah. that were doing the yellow light, we would like squirt them and they would fall in the water and they'd stop working and I was like, oh, I should try that with robots. Yeah, I mean, 60% of the time it works every time. Mm -hmm. it smells like. Uh, what? What was it? it? Smells like donkey dick? Or Bigfoot's dick. <laughs> smells like Bigfoot's smells dick. Bigfoot's dick. Oh my god. God, I loved Anchorman when it came out. The second one was not nearly <laughs> as good. No. It's it's only worth it for the, the fight scene. Yeah. Is that the ghost of Andrew Jackson? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stonewall Jackson. Stonewall oh, Jackson, yeah. that's right. Um, yeah, that was that was wild. <laughs> oh, you Oh, I like bullying bastard. the robots. Yeah. <laughs> Don't bully them, they'll come. That's satisfying. Oh, well, all the better. Robo sex and all that, yeah. It's mutually assured pleasure. <laughs> Mutually assured construction. <gasps> I don't think I've ever been in this room. <laughs> I think I went in there once. Well, you must have Maybe? if you got perfect. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, previously. I oh. think when the attack helicopter was chasing me around here, I went in there previously. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> he's dead now. <laughs> oh, you beautiful man. Yeah. Now I'll do a boat swap. God. Oh, my this is fun. Oh, God. Well done. This <laughs> <laughs> boat is useless to me now. <laughs> I'll take the slower boat. <laughs> Clearly a faster boat. But you know, uh, it carries a lot more weight than uh, than that other boat did, I guess. It's Maybe, true. I don't know. It carries your, your big old heckin' balls. Oh, what happened to my windows? Yo, you're you broke a top my dog. fucking windows. Well, you're coming back home. You haven't been here. Why haven't I? I spent so much time in a hospital from getting shot by robots. I think you 
Well, I don't know if they knew you lived here, but you went on that chase from the cops. Oh, I guess that didn't matter actually. The chase was before. Here. The chase was before these upgrades. You know what? I think maybe there's a storm coming. And those are actually to protect the integrity of the windows. I I've heard people doing that in real life. Like actually, uh, they do board their windows if there's like a huge storm coming. Yeah, I guess. You know what you have to do, right? Yeah. It's hot a first tub, floor like hot tub now. Not tub. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! You know, baby, when it's allergy season, that's a snot tub. <laughs> I'm into these. Oh shit. Despite the security upgrade, I had a recent break-in in Hollow Rock. The new robots are not performing as advertised. I had a string of similar break-ins last summer, and I suspect this one might be related. The production has had a significant setback due to the break-in, and as a result, we haven't been able to meet demand lately. Our stores are running low, and this reflects very unfavorably upon the company. However, some dealer in Frustrum has surplus stock and has been selling my product to my own customers throughout our ordeal. They've been lining their pockets whilst we've been occupied with the fallout from the break-in. Very unsympathetic behavior, I would say. To rectify this, I would like you to reclaim my product from Frustrum to restock my stores. Frustrum has been evacuated due to the storm, so it should be straightforward for someone with your skills. Rectify. <laughs> <laughs> Damn near rectified him. All right, so we're going the back to the shortage. Back to the place from the chase where we ran away from the cops. Yeah, uh, oh yeah. Mhm. Mm we get to okay. revisit this little humble town. I was wondering if we'd if we'd come back to it as a level. Um. Okay. Uh. Move the kegs to the escape vehicle. Stay away from tornadoes. So, just throw that in there. At hang the end. on. What? <laughs> <laughs> we just gonna gloss over that? Uh -huh. Stay away. <laughs> <laughs> they were gonna shoot a rocket at it, and I was like, I don't hate that plan. No, that wouldn't have been as effective. Rocket NATO. The only All solution right. I know to shark NATOs. Get into a safe location. The bar. You know, everyone's always mad at the sharks over. in this movie. So I'm like, man, they just got scooped out of the ocean. Like, they don't know what the fuck's going on. They're not villainous uh, sharks. Shark They're just trying to live their life. If you get sucked up in a tornado, like if yeah. they eat you, I think it's just that's just nature. Oh baby. no. Will I? I don't know if I want to test it if I don't have to. But will I die if I get sucked up into a tornado? There's only one way to find out. Or is it just going to throw well, two me ways. I guess Google, but you should find out a better way than Google. Uh, well, I don't have Google in the game. So I'm assuming that this is a time before Google. The Dark Ages, basically. Not that I think Google uh, is improving things uh, across the board, but... Yeah, yeah. They've certainly improved uh, a lot of things for people. Do you think a giant would use a hot tub as a shot tub? Like a Absolutely. shot glass, but for a giant? But he'd still, yeah. like, he'd, he wouldn't change the shape. He would just steal hot tubs to take drinks out of. Yeah. I think that'd be pretty cool. That'd be really cool. And then they could get really creative with, like, warm drinks that you have to keep warm. Oh, yeah. Oh no! Ooh, like no, a like a no. nice warm mold cider in a hot tub. I bet that would be nice. Yeah. God, I can really go for mold cider. Right now. Mold, mold cider, mold wine. Yeah. With the cold Dude, weather. Dude, mold, we've been mold. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mold, yeah. <laughs> Just makes the way. bread taste even gooder. <laughs> <laughs> My brain cells are in stronger earning. Maybe, is Amantides just throwing a kegger and we're supplying it? <laughs> we're throwing an intergalactic kegger. <laughs> it's my dad's favorite line from uh, Men in Black 2, I think it is. It's a good line. Yeah. Bridge driver, lower Take your time, bridge. bridge. 
<laughs> There's just a house on the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Show us that house. Oh, it's so tiny because it's on a bridge. I don't know what we expect. It's a. Uh, it's the same concept where the. Uh, it's a new show. Same concept where people go in and fix up the the structure, but it's bridges instead of houses. Oh. Where's this keg? We it's could like call it like room. Is it bridging the gap. Or, uh, bridging the gap. Or uh... now that's the show where you put a bridge into a, a gap store. Abridged. With Bridget Jones or something. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a hot tub. Full of blue tide. Or carpeting? <laughs> what is. Yeah, what? Carpet of <laughs> what is happening in this room? This is supposed to be a high end hotel, yeah, yeah? Or is that the other is building? It? I don't know what this is. I think that's the nice hotel. Grand hotel. That's the grand hotel, yeah. They didn't even have any room. Oh, you didn't need that, did you? Give me. Give me. Whoa! Is the game just for that car? For all the bullying that I did to the robots. Definitely. Um, I do appreciate that. I'm watching you drag them to the car when, like, in my run, I just cabled them to cars and drove them over. I was it's a different just strategy, but it, it's working. I mean, it's worked well so far. So this is I very was... entertaining for me as well to see. Um, your thought processes and stuff. Yeah, I was thinking uh, just a moment ago, we're starting to get farther away from the escape vehicles, so probably... Alright, game? <laughs> <laughs> they just want to show you where the money is. Is it up here? Ooh, industrial filter! Thirty dollars, baby! You could buy Pretty half tasty. a new video game! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the economy in this game must be really messed up. <laughs> I just like that people in the demo business get to steal whatever the fuck they want with no repercussions. <laughs> I'm sure there would be repercussions, I'm just really good at covering my tracks. But I guess you are, because you I handled the first half of the game. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that you didn't know about that. <clears throat> yeah, I so really, I, I never watched past that part. Of anybody that's uh, familiar with, um, what was that movie? Starship Troopers. Starship Troopers. Uh, <laughs> the the little propaganda video where they're saying I'm doing my part. Uh, immediately after that. Or, well, during that same segment, there's a kid in armor that pops out and he says, I'm doing my part too! And then all the people in the army turn to him and go, Oh, <laughs> I just... <laughs> I don't know. It just hits you right. It, it really did. Am I going to be able to get out of the water here? <clears throat> uh, you just, I, I... Yeah, oh, you could do it over okay. here. I was going to say, I think I climbed up the boat. Like you could do, yeah. I sort of feel like the tornadoes are following me. Uh, yeah, they oh. definitely just spawn within a certain radius of you, and that's it. You don't need that back. <laughs> it's mine. I stole I, it. I, I stole it. Like, yeah. yeah. Finders, keepers, tornadoes, weepers. Freaking tornadoes. Uh, turn around. You're the other way. Oh. Thank you. No problem. Hey! <laughs> I do like the idea of a tornado just being like a mild inconvenience for you. He's like swimming through the air trying to grab it. Like uh, Charlie and his grandpa's fizzy lefty drink. They're like, yeah. oh, hold on, Charlie! <laughs> you stole keggers! <laughs> you stole kegs of energy drink! You lose! I'm getting a little turnaround here. It would be hilarious to, it's like, Charlie, Charlie's up there with a keg and Grandpa Joe, and he's like, I only have time to grab one of you. <laughs> he's like, sorry, Grandpa Joe. 
Don't think I, I didn't mean, notice that you were a dick. Yeah. You probably should go for the kegger though, because, uh, yeah, Grandpa Joe's, like, yeah. pretending to be bedridden for his entire life or something. Right? Yeah, What's Charlie gets there? to go on an adventure, and he's like, yippee, I'll be going with you. Fuck everyone else in this house. Could I mm. work? Probably. Will I? No. No, of course not. Not only that, um, but during the song, uh, Grandpa Joe specifically uses the phrase, I've got a golden ticket. Like, <laughs> you didn't. Yeah. You get a golden ticket. So That's selfish. That's Charlie's ticket. That's why they're poor. They're so selfish. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Charlie's parents are good folks, but grandparents, I don't know. Well, it was his mom, anyway. Yeah, his mom, at least. I think his dad. His dad in the Johnny Depp movie ain't bad. Oh. Oh my I, lord, Ian. I wasn't thinking about the Johnny Depp movie. I forgot all about it, to be honest. The exception of the fact that his dad's a dentist? His dad is Count Dooku. Oh yeah, Christopher Lee, that's right. Didn't he die? He did die, unfortunately, uh, a little while back. Sauron. 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 Thousands, tens, and tens of thousands. These tornadoes um, are really starting to piss me off. <laughs> I don't know if. Are, are they getting you wound up? Are they getting you winded? Yeah, I'm pretty flustered. Is that a, is that a wind <laughs> turn? Just seeing it. Uh, just like fuck off nearby. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Um, Tornado a lot of people. <laughs> yes. A lot of people don't know that Christopher Lee was in a metal band. Uh, yeah. Um, that's actually pretty great, and they have Christmas albums, and it's, it's pretty metal. Does he sound like Count Dooku when, when he's singing? Um, yeah. <laughs> I guess he doesn't really do much to his voice. Deck uh, the halls, like la -la -la -la. double the power, double the fall. Right, something, something, like double mint gum. Consuming. Nobody ever pays me in gum. I'm Saruba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have the required amount. <clears throat> you, you should do. just fuck off. You should fuck off. <laughs> Get out Wait, of that, here. That felt fuck a little more off. personal. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not at all. What was your name? <laughs> I'm making yeah. it impersonal. Maybe you, you guys will take one off. back with you, right? Or not. You could also oh. fuck off. <laughs> Probably grab one, yeah. You went all this way. Just gotta attach that bitch to the fish drug. This isn't fish. Oops. <laughs> taking like, that come along. Too. Yeah, shit, why not? It's, uh, for balancing issues. Sure. Hopefully this truck is heavy enough. Oh, look at that clearance! Perfect. Wow. Oh, where's the last one, anyway? Wow. Oh, that looks like it's in a truck. It's in a truck, yeah. That. Yep. Well, in that case, I'll probably go for it. In that case, what do you have? I got a half dozen starving crazed blue tide containers. Yeah, okay, I'll take that. <laughs> so hands me the box and I open up the lid and these blue tide <laughs> containers jump out and immediately start latching onto my face. I'm screaming and crying. Just chemicaling all over. <laughs> Addicting me all over. Addicting, yeah. The addictometer. I love that. Right. Also, I like to think that it didn't go off in that person's coffee because they pissed off like the barista at Starbucks and they just <laughs> gave them decaf without them knowing. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> so my head cannon for uh, Mr. Cop, Mrs. Cop, excuse me. Parisa. Parisa Turd Man. They call me Lisa. Man. They call me Turd Man. That's not my job. That's not my job. I don't pick up turds. I'll put them on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that does what you think it does. What is this? It's a giant metal turd. That's not a boulder. It's a rock. That's not Iran. It's a rock. The pioneers used to drive these babies for miles. <laughs> Shut up, son. 
The pioneers used to wage wars here for their oil for years. <laughs> it's a rock. <laughs> they didn't even know what they needed oil for yet. <laughs> there were like three letters. Wow. I don't know where I was going with that. You're doing a great <laughs> job. Just preemptively start seizing the land and, and killing people in case there's resources there. Yeah. I can't think of anything more American than that. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> yeah. I hurt myself today. <laughs> Was that the tornado? Yeah. Yeah, write that down on the insurance. <laughs> That's what we'll tell them. I wouldn't have made that dumbass decision if it weren't for the tornado. It made me do it. Mind <laughs> control. Wait, it sucked the thing out of my truck. <laughs> Boy, if I had a nickel for every time something was sucked out of my truck. <laughs> I wouldn't have much money because... I don't think that's ever happened to me. Uh, well, good. You know, I, didn't, I don't even have a truck. Surprisingly good at um, keeping things in the bed. Yeah. The truck. My parents had a truck when I was growing up, though, so if that counts, maybe. Did you get? Although I do out remember, it? yeah, at some point, <laughs> I do. <laughs> so many tornadoes on our on our camping trip vacations. I do remember, at one point. It was like middle of the summer and the air conditioning crapped out in that truck. That's like my last memory of that truck is how goddamn hot it was in there. I did love it though because it was green and green is my favorite color. There you go. That's all you need in the car really is the color. Oh. I don't know why I'm like thinking you're amazing when really I should praise like the architects who built this section of road but... They built it specifically for this truck. Certainly not PennDOT. Or Virgin Dot. Or Dell Dot. Whatever the fuck they call it over there. What? No, man. What Calm you down. Why are, you getting, why are you getting so upset about this? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Virgin Dot? Yeah. Virginia? <laughs> oh. Is this in Virginia? I don't know. Oh. I thought you knew something I didn't. Here we go! I probably know some things you don't know, but I don't I know, know everything what I, you know. I don't know what I know that you don't know. Other than the rest of this campaign. Well, that's true. Well, you don't know that I don't know it. You bought the van. Hot shot. <laughs> Thanks for the van, Mom. That's literally the first thing I did with it. <laughs> literally. The exact same spot. Ooh. Blue Tide. Hell yeah. Now we get energy drinks that give us temporary stat boosts. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, clean out my mess. Don't say it never do. <laughs> Back on Ramp the track! It. Oh. <laughs> ah! Perfect. Don't tell mom. <laughs> Don't tell mom. Are you hey, cool? Mom? I'm fine. <laughs> Can you buy me a new truck? <laughs> you remember also a new truck that the truck came on? <laughs> because <laughs> How did they get it here? Oh boy. Oh. Maybe the okay. maybe they weakened it on the way over. Uh the yeah, final maybe. straw. Oh my elevator's broken. Who could have done this? <laughs> I was gonna say, was it the hot tub? I need my bike fell to go really fast. <laughs> <laughs> the Peloton uh, instructor is like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, we took the elevator down. Wow, that's silly. It's a cool elevator. Yeah, Wait, I, blame, I blame mom. mom. This is um, a mom's fault. I like these shelves. The shelves they were real room nice. dividers. You could fit a lot of... Board games in there. And I do have a lot of board games. Bigger than the Cadillacs. Bigger than the Cadillac. Oh no, bad luck. No. <laughs> what is this? You must travel on the floor between the floors. <laughs> the crawl space. 
That's where Edna lives. Ah! I'm oh, thirsty for a blue tide. But do we have much money? How much money we got? Oh, $284 redos. Um, let's see. I don't know what I want now. The upgrades for Blue Tide, I believe, are just more cans of it, and it lasts longer because it's four seconds right now. Okay. But yeah, boost your running and jumping, which is pretty cool. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, Leaf Blower. Uh, yeah, honestly. Pretty great. <laughs> so, yeah. I've come to appreciate the Leaf Blower a little more in the second half of the campaign. Ooh, that's good to know. We found something. Turns out the ingredients you brought back from Hollow Rock contains an unknown, highly addictive chemical. One of the samples okay. still had the shipping label on and is coming from Advertise Mall. Did some digging into the ownership structure of the mall and got a match on one of Amantity's holding companies. He's using the mall as a repackaging central, so the chemical must be sent to Advertise from somewhere. Repackaged and then passed on to Hollow Rock. Could you pay a visit to Advertise and get me the shipping logs? I have a lot of dirt on Amanity, Aman, Amantities already. Wow. <laughs> but without the source of his chemicals, there's not Damn, much I can do. <laughs> I was like, like, really struggling with that one. A man of an enemy did a sea anemone. Bring back shipping logs. Oh, there's a lot of objectives on this one, huh? There are a many a log. Is it going to be, is the mall going to be loaded up with robots? Dark moon. <laughs> Uh, we got white alarm boxes. We're going tank and rompa. Alarms. Yeah. This is Hope's Peak Mall. And these 12 cars have to kill each other. <laughs> yeah. This one's the ultimate PT cruiser. Gross. And I'm Nagito. I'm here for some reason. <laughs> He's gotta be, right? <laughs> um, oh god, I remember this one being a pain in my stick. ass. But I did try and get it all in one go. So it might be easier if you don't go that route. Come on! I know, it's very sad. <laughs> well... Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I have to accept this stupid outcome. <laughs> I, guess I, I really this. hate it. I'm gonna blog about this. Get on your blog. I'm like a dog with a blog. Ooh. I wouldn't know what to do if I actually wrote a post. <laughs> uh, is this a speaker? I don't know what this is. I think it's just like an outdoor heater. Now oh, it's over there. Um, because oh. they have all the food court uh, trucks there, so like when it's not snowing and the mall is open, I think they just have uh, guests there. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, oh, is, okay, that, should... is that called the Boone Restaurant? Is that the one that's over there? The Boone the... Restaurant. I think that's where but you I'm are. Inside of? Yeah, if you click on it on the map, I think it highlights it. Oh, yeah, the Boone Restaurant. Boone Restaurant, okay, cool. I don't think I ever bothered learning the name of this, like, area. That's probably fine. Um, alright. Can you imagine so... being such, like, a... Believing that opening doors is such, like, a plebeian move that you put, like, an, a booster on the door and then <laughs> make the booster on the door for you? That'd be great. Uh, yeah. Opening doors is for, is for the poor. That's why I remove every door I see. That's why, I'm not, that's why I'm not allowed back in the office at my job. I just show up with a screwdriver. I'm like, let's get this shit done. They're let's like, you work in IT. Up. And I was like, yeah, once these doors are gone, do you want me to do my work or not? Help me. <laughs> Dismantle this place. Make it make sense. Uh, so this one is on the way, it looks like. God, I had the most convoluted route. Well, we'll see if I can help. It's more convoluted. Hell yeah. Fuck. <laughs> oh no. Ah, <laughs> uh, well.
At least it wasn't too far in. Yeah, that's true. Could have been worse, now I, I suppose. I, I really have to learn that, that lesson that you learned pretty quick, which is uh, <laughs> quick save often. Yes. Especially if you're like within 10 meters of <laughs> some kind of objective. Uh, bomb. Some days you just can't get rid of a door except for bombs. And gasoline. Yeah. There we go. Uh, what this? Oh wow, this is quick actually. I think my favorite, yeah, the tractor's actually not, not too shabby. I think my favorite line from the dark, you've seen the Dark Knight, I, I know you have. Um, yeah. I think my favorite line from the Dark Knight is when Heath Ledger goes, it's Joker in time. Mm -hmm. And then he uh, pulls out the knife and he does the Joker dance from Fortnite. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's pr probably my favorite part. It's a solid, it's solid. Um, just like that dump he takes in the movie. Mm hmm And then Batman Attorney of Law shows up, and then they have that mm -hmm. legal battle with, um, Better Call Saul, with Jimmy, Slip and Jimmy. True. Uh, yeah. I mean, really, you know, people might have criticized it for being too action-packed, but, but really, when you think about it, it's one of the most accurate legal dramas of our time, is Joker oh, versus yeah. Slip and Jimmy. <laughs> My favorite part of the court battle was when Slip and Jimmy said it's slipping time. <laughs> <laughs> and then he slipped in. And then yeah, he had a yeah, he slipped in the last line of his defense, which uh, uh it's just or not defense, it was prosecution and it was wild. Wait, go back. There was uh, an item on top of the shelf. I saw it blink. Uh turn around. Um turn around. Like out the yeah, straight back towards the wall. Oh. Yeah. Vodka. Cheap vodka. <laughs> Four dollars. <laughs> you got Vladdy. Oh yay. Uh I'll drink it. <laughs> Shit. That's what well, you think vodka. I don't have, You think I have self respect? <laughs> nah. It's free alcohol estate. <laughs> uh okay, where is this? Oh, it's way over there, huh? I do appreciate um, that they like normally you have it like any mall I've ever been to has or I mean I might not have actually been aware of it but I'm pretty sure they all have like overnight security staff even if they're just sitting in like in observation with all the cameras in the mall it's weird that there's no one at the mall well what do you want them to, to pay people money uh that's true well no I don't think anyone it should get money <laughs> <laughs> I think we should barter like the good old days. I'll give you two chickens to watch the mall tonight. You know what the problem with the barter system is, though. We, I, I mean, maybe someone can prove me wrong on this, uh, and I'm sure they will uh, if they take the opportunity. But like, how how would we get something like uh, cell phones or or any form of like complex technology <laughs> in the world where we barter? Well, I mean, ideally you'd still have people of science that could find a way to barter what they need, but I, I agree it would probably take way longer than it should. Well, we wouldn't be able to have anywhere near the manufacturing capabilities that we do. Where is That's this thing? We need, uh, what's his name from Dr. Stone? Who's just like, oh, it's the Stone Age? Let me make a cell phone real quick. Yeah. <laughs> that show is so good. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but I hardly recommend Dr. Stone. I... it is not... it does not sound familiar. Where's this thing? Well, there's an optional. It's not a spoiler, but he's like this kid who's really fucking into science. A really brilliant kid. And one day, everyone on Earth turns to stone. Um, and they don't know why, but like thousands of years later, uh, or at least hundreds, um, he, uh, his stone like cracks and he is released from his like stone prison where he's literally been 
like awake the whole time like he, he's still been alive but like stuck in stone like a statue oh and the whole time he like basically counted how long he was in there so he knows approximately how long it's been but he's released because they find out like I think it's like it's not a spoiler but there's there's a special material that can dissolve the stone if you use it appropriately and he ends up start resurrecting people um, because he finds these other stone statues and he's trying to find out what's going on and what happened to everybody and why people are trying to stone but he's so smart he's like he, he helps form a civilization and um, they all get behind him as their leader and they form like the what is it the, not the religion but they they call themselves like the the group of science or the followers of science and oh. he helps them create wacky shit in the stone age basically because society had to start over and they make a cell phone and it's like all pretty scientifically accurate stuff too which is cool it sounds Very familiar I wonder if maybe you recommended it to me at some point in the past here we go I've definitely sung the opening theme <laughs> at one point I love this wow big tractor energy <laughs> I mean when you got a big tractor you gotta use it right hell yeah this is what Big Tractor doesn't want you to know. It's true. They really, they really try to hide everything. Obfuscation. Oh yeah. Oh no. I'm lost. Wait a minute. I should have planned for this. <laughs> How did this happen? We're smart. It's right through that other wall. <clears throat> this wall? Yep. And then to the left, I think. Like over there, that, that way behind you. In the ah. Valuable. Wow! Hey, $400. Tax-free tax -free profit. profit. That's just cash money. <laughs> that is just renamed cash-free money. Yeah, you know. Alright, I'm gonna I'm give on this one you. more try. Do you think I should go until we finish this one? Uh, How much longer could it take? Uh, I shouldn't <laughs> that's ask a good that. question. That's a stupid question. <laughs> I didn't really map out my actual path here. Let's see. So you jet over and grab that white one. Yeah. Um, you can go up. Gotta get the one in front here. You would have been so proud of me watching me play through all of part two with how much fucking spray paint I used. <laughs> it's... It, you, you would be so proud... There were so many missions, so I was like, why didn't I record that? I want to show Sean so bad <laughs> so he can see how much I improved. I feel like a real pro now. Well, damn. I I kind of wish that you played this. All right, so it's up the stairs. You played this? I played this. Oh. <laughs> Where am I going? Uh, in here. You should put a hole in that wall, yeah? Or, or... To just launch outside. Oh, you're going, you're going back. Uh... So why don't you go over know? to? So hold on, open up the map. There. There's one. Yeah, there's one in the security office above the entrance. This one's um, on the ground floor. I'd probably this grab. Up at top. I'd probably grab the one you were going for next, and then head back towards the entrance, and then over towards the car to grab that last primary one. So huh? come in here, grab that. Ooh. Hey, nice. Mumbo Got Jumbo 3D. <laughs> uh, Alright, so then I bust out through here. Whee! Yeah, you can just yeah break your leggies. That's fine. And then right through that wall. I'll buy new ones. Just, yeah, watch out so you don't uh, dislodge it. But it's right there, huh? We're not. <laughs> what? Quick save, I was gonna say. It's, I can't hear you over the sound of guns. Well, well that's, that's a so, problem. You don't have your shotgun silencer equipped. No, nobody's and here. Then, <laughs> and yeah, and then take a hard right. I think it's right above you. 
Oh. oh. <laughs> so grab that. Doable. Doable. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should actually go all the way up first. Where is that last one? And then drop down in the security office. Oh, yeah, the last one's in the closet over here. So. Oh, you could do that. Grab that. Yeah. That's doable. Uh, yeah, because then you just. That's the office right Jump there. Down there. Um, okay. Yeah, that could work. All right. I think you could do that. All right. There was there was quite a bit of dilly dallying before, when we were like trying to figure out where we could go. So I think you might have time for that. True. Uh, yeah, I lost a lot of time too, just because I got lost. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. All right, it's gonna go flawlessly Saucy. this time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the one Sean's been training for this for like an hour or whatever. Here we go. <laughs> and go. He's the Usain Bolt of Teardown. That's right. That's why this is gonna be a flawless. Whoa! Oh, shit. That was epic. <laughs> flawless. <laughs> Damn, doing tractor donuts and shit. Hell yeah. Up these stairs. I don't know, I was dealing with a country right gentleman. Grab that. Jump outside, we. Pop out here. My legs. Yeah. My leggies. Ah, my leggies. I'll buy new ones. All right, and then we're going all the way up. All the way up. It goes all the way up. It's miles all the way down. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna have enough time for this. Well, hang on, hang on. Yep, and don't panic yet. All right, the car's just now? right there, so that was not super far. True. I think we just need to make some time-saving uh, shortcuts. Holes. Yeah. We could definitely make some... Um, this is right good how you have office. that. Just bust yeah, definitely there. already make a hole ready for you to leave the security office would be good. Also, the like server room up there, there's a little bit of backtracking involved. Uh, oh, up there. But, like, <clears throat> and, yeah, and instead of jumping out the, well, no, I guess we'd have to jump out to get to the ground floor. It's the fastest way down. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, like make a tiny hole there so you can literally grab it through the wall without having to go in the room at all. Yep, perfect. That'll save you a second. So I can run right here, grab that, and then... You just break the window. Bop. Or, yeah. <laughs> That's true. No, this but is they gave me They gave me bombs. That they did. That they How did. am I not going to get a bomb, get, use a bomb when you, when you got it? You can't give me bombs when there ha! are bombs. Ha! Yeah. I should make a, a faster path to the stairs as well. Yes. Agreed. Ba, ba. He got Oh, they spin! That's cool. Love it. Oh, weird. What direction is the wind? <laughs> it's very unclear. They don't know. Alright, then up the stairs. And then... I'd say... Oh. Hmm. Ah. And I jump out this hole. It's already made. Yeah. That should be done. Why don't you why don't you go wait, turn around? Uh-huh. Um, head over there to where those stairs come up. Uh left. Why not instead of having to go around there, why don't you make like a plank shortcut up to the next one in the restaurant up there? You know what I'm saying? Like instead of having to go around the corner and walk up there, here? like from here. Make like a plank ramp up so you could go grab. I mean, as as haberdashery as it needs to be, but um, like a shortcut to. I'm not making hats. <sighs> Shut up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just to like, that'll save you a second or two. As long as I can get it. 
Yeah, I mean, you have 63 planks if you want to build a sturdier walkway. Nah. Okay. <laughs> I'm already on the way. <laughs> okay. I'm on my way. To, to Viridian City. Down. I mean, yeah. yeah. You got it. That's the one. To Teardown City. Take me down to the Teardown City where there aren't any girls or men or anyone. I want you to take me to the robot place. Take me down to where they do tractor donuts in the mall parking lot. <laughs> That's the best place to do them. Right? That's where I did donuts in parking lots. It's just what you do. Donuts, not even once. <laughs> Sorry, Krispy Kreme. <laughs> no hard feelings. I wouldn't have any hard feelings about that anyway. I do not like Krispy Kreme. Oh, I do. Krispy yeah, Kreme. nice. If you want to sponsor uh, Alex here, you can do oh, that. Oh, yes, please. But not me. Yes, please. I Actually, like if you want to give me a lot of money, I'll pretend to like your donuts. Oh, you got this, fam. Hard left. Yep. Where is it? Yeah. Where is it? Where is it? It's got a giant arrow. <laughs> right there. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh. Yeah! Oh, right through there. Right. Okay. <laughs> Three down. I was just about to hey, break out my good. blue tide energy drink. Oh yeah, that's uh, good. That's good to start these runs with if you need a little boost. A little pep. A little well pick done. Great job, Sean. That was great. Thank you. I'm gonna pat myself on the back. Thanks everybody for watching another great episode of We Played a Game playing Teardown again. It's good to have you back. It's good to be back. I splashed my drink. Okay, bye. <laughs> I move away from my drink to breathe in. Bye. <laughs>